Hello everyone, welcome back to MediCraft. It's been a little while since we've been in MediCraft world here, and I decided to do, I had a I had an idea of something that I wanted to build, so I thought I'd come in here and do a couple little episodes, little mini-series inside the world here, and build this thing that I had in my mind, and I'll let you guys know what it is. It is like a, oh, what would you call it? I guess a house? Like a, a building, a structure. This place is pretty cool, huh? I built this the other couple weeks ago when I was rendering some videos out. Needed something to do. Came in here. I think it looks pretty cool. A little pathway going down, down, down. It's the flames. You see where we're at here? We're next to the... Ah, uh, the... I still haven't finished the round building over there. It's just... Oh, it takes so long. It takes so many resources, too. It's a little little overwhelming for me but what I wanted to do is build a building way up in the sky like I, I remember one of my like my original MediCraft I think I one of them I think I built something like up in the center maybe it was MediCraft 2 the world I probably stopped or something where would center be on this thing I got my I got a bunch of stuff I went and gathered some um some different resources and everything. There's that building over there. I really like that building. How about we just do it here, but not maybe out this way a little bit. Where are we at? Oh, is that in line with... Oh, we'll go right there. That's in line with the stairs. So, okay. So as we're going up here, I, I don't know. I'll be able to jump off into the water, but to get back up here, I'll... Probably have to make a bunch of ladders and climb up this, so I got to keep that in mind. <laughs> this would be the only way to get back up here. Um, but anyway, yeah, if you guys follow me on Twitter, you would have seen that today. Today is actually Friday before Labor Day weekend. Is it Labor Day? I don't know. I forget what all the holidays are now. <laughs> they just kind of roll. Keep. Do I have any dirt? Yes. Um, but I, for lunch, like, you know, sometimes my, my girlfriend, she makes my lunch for me. Most of the time I do. You know, I just take, make sure that I have water and, uh, you know, I got like a little lunch pail that I put the blue ice in and make sure I got cold water and probably something to snack on, you know. Usually I try and grab lunch. But um, today I had sugar-free jello and baby carrots and I'm like, I was like on Twitter, I'm like, man, how high am I? 162. This is actually a pretty good height right here. You can see everything real good. Um, so I'm, I'm thinking, man, did – get these bones out of here. Did I do something – oh, you know what? Do I want the – I don't want the base to be in cobble. I better use this. Like maybe, maybe it's like, hey, meaty, you know – too many pizzas lately or you know something like that it's like uh you got to eat a little healthier but the funny thing is like snack wise like when i'm at home and i don't know maybe here in my office playing some games doing stuff like that i really don't don't eat very good right i you know snack wise it'll be like chips and salsa or um i don't know uh, string cheese you know, the little individual wrap string cheeses, those things are really good. Um, you know, it's funny because all of the things that, that they say, they they being all the, the geniuses out there that know everything about what's healthy, what's not, and what you should and shouldn't do. Um, everyone, always, everyone says, well, dairy products, right? Dairy products being, I don't know, uh, cheese and ice cream. Stuff like that. Obviously, milk. I don't really drink milk as an adult. Um, but I do eat my fair share of ice cream and eat a lot of cheese. So dairy products and bread, breads and stuff like that. They say, oh, that's the worst for you. Worst thing for you. Don't eat that stuff. You know, you got to eat whatever. Salads or chicken, you know, lean turkey. It, it's my whole life is like been nothing but... I I could survive off of bread and cheese. I love bread. I love bread. It might be my most favorite thing ever. I don't know why. I love bread. I love cheeses. You know, it's just like, I don't know. Call me crazy, but two, one, two, three. Uh, let's see. So if I go 
What am I thinking about here? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six, six, twelve, thirteen, no, six, seven, eight. We're gonna go out eight. Then we're gonna go out one, two, three. Oh. Oh yes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Anyway, so it's like <laughs> I, I probably eat, I break all the rules, whatever the rules are supposed to be, right? I break them all. But, you know, I'm, every person's different, right? Every, every body type is different. Everybody kind of, um, uh, what do you call it, uh, you know, uses fuel differently. And that's, you know, I call food fuel because that's all it really is. If you think about it, if you see people that are really overweight, like, you know, sometimes people have... Uh, issues with uh, organs or things like that but most of the time you know it's it's that people have have lost have kind of lost track that the idea that food is just fuel and they use it for like some kind of emotional thing now people do the same thing with alcohol people do the same thing with drugs people do the same thing with nicotine products you know so everybody has like their little vice right a little and you guys know what a vice is a vice is something that you do that's not necessarily good for you but it's it's like your little that's that's the thing that you i don't know it's hard to explain i guess if you don't know what it is but i the way i would describe it it's it's something that you do that's bad for you but you do it anyway you know it's a vice oops um so uh I don't know. What, what was I saying? I forgot what I was saying. All right. Let me put some of this stuff away because I feel heavy. I feel heavy with all this stuff in my inventory. <laughs> all right. All you guys can get in there. Now give me give me half of these bad boys. Um, anyway, what I was saying was, you know, so long story long. <laughs> that's like one of my favorite things to say. Do you guys get it? Long story long, meaning long story short, but you keep you talk too much. So it's long story long. Four, the one that way. One, two, three, four, five. Going that way. Five, six, seven, eight. And there is f one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Got to make sure that it's the the right amount that we want here when building. Start off with the right amount. This is, you know, it's a little bit scary actually being up here. But anyway, back to my story. Seems like I always talk about food because I love food, but I've, for me, m me in particular, you know, obviously, you know, I'm different than than the next person, and the next person is different than me, and so on and so forth. But I don't know, bread and all that stuff doesn't seem to affect me the same way it affects maybe other people, right? But there's some people that don't get exercise and when i say exercise i don't mean going to the gym and riding on a bike and you know lifting weights and working out and doing this that and the other thing exercise can be something as simple as moving around during the day like say you're stuck in an office job and your job is to go to work and you sit at your desk all day long and when you're done you go home and then when you go home there's other stuff to do at home but you're not like getting a whole lot of activity so when I say exercise, I mean just that. You may be a very active person. You go, you go out and oh, I should have brought a bed up here. You go out and do things like you, you're out and about, you know, and that that counts as exercise. Walking around, you know, getting your blood flowing, doing things like that. Maybe maybe it's sports, maybe it's whatever. You know, that counts towards exercise. Well, at work, you know, I'm out. I'm so, I'm in the office sometimes, but I'm out in the field. And when I say in the field, I mean out working at a customer's site or facility or traveling around. So that's my exercise. I mean, I was an athlete in in school and stuff, but not anymore. I mean, I don't play any, play any organized sports now. But um, so I've always been, I don't know if you, in shape, I guess, or not. You know, I've always been able to to do what I need to do to have fun and and. Oh, this is going to be scary. I'm going to have to go out on the edges. Actually, you know what? I want a, I want like a a, a two. 
All right, I know what I'm going to do. Hmm. Maybe I'll use cobble cobblestone wall around the outside instead of... Uh, let's just... You know, we can always add to it. We can always add to it. All right, let's... um. Just leave one out, one edge out, one block. All right. So as far as the food goes, it's like I was talking about it before on the weekends and stuff, man. Maybe Sunday afternoons, I get a big old pizza, you know, and I just eat the whole pizza myself. Which, I guess, if you only do that once a week or once every other week or something like that, it's it's not really that bad for you, you know. It's not the worst thing in the world for you. Um, that would be a lot of these. 16. Let's use wood. What if I backed off this thing when I was going up there? Um, so, like I said, uh, the what I've been doing a little bit more recently was the snacks and stuff that I take to work. And, and sometimes if I, I take more than more than just a snack, I may even skip lunch, right? I may skip lunch because whatever i might be busy or something like that but if i do eat a big lunch i usually don't eat dinner then you know because when i get home my my days are a little bit different than other people um i don't come home and sit and watch tv and do that stuff i come home i get some stuff done i make some uh, videos for for my channel right i make some videos for you always win then i render upload and go to bed and go back to work the next day and rinse and repeat so I don't have a whole lot of time. You know when you you ever you guys ever get busy doing something, anything, what no matter what it is, you just get busy, right? One, two, three, four. And you basically forget to eat. Right? I know it may sound crazy to some people, but you can if you're busy enough, you can literally forget to eat. And that's what happens. Like when I'm in here making videos and stuff, I'm like Oh my gosh, it's it's 11:30 at night. It's time to go to bed. Oh, I didn't even eat dinner, something like that, you know. So sometimes I forget to eat if I get busy, and other times if I eat a big lunch, I won't even I won't even necessarily eat any dinner, right? So that it, it that works for me. That helps that helps like um, you know, if most people don't need to diet, right? I think the the word diet is is misleading. Um to the fact that you should you should maintain like a um, diet doesn't mean I need to lose weight. Diet it means it's what you eat, right? It's what you eat to to do whatever you do. So your diet, meaning what you eat, should be kind of indicative of what how you are in life. If you're super active and stuff, then you should get you know eat stuff that that goes goes along with it. If you're not active, then you should you know watch what you do you know if you don't want to be gaining extra pounds and stuff um i'm not sure exact oops not sure exactly how i want to do this in here so but what i was saying was you know the whole the whole reason this whole conversation came up was these baby carrots and this that and the other thing and um funny thing is i like them i like i the taste of these and the what i found out was the ones that I eat aren't necessarily baby carrots. They're full-size carrots that they take like a water jet to, right, to shape them down, something like that. But usually the smaller carrots are sweeter. Oh, I thought that was a, I thought I saw a creeper right here. They're like sweeter, right? So they're really good, really good snack. So I like eating those. And um, I got to be honest with you guys about something that you guys know about the root beer and all that stuff. And I, I stopped drinking soda. I, I was drinking a lot of – I've always had kind of a soda addiction, you know, Coca-Cola, uh, root beer. I've always had kind of a soda addiction all my life. That was one of my vices, right? Um, the sugar and the caffeine in there, oh, I just loved it, right? And when I say I've had, I had a, a problem with it, I mean I drank a lot of soda. Like let me see if I can shock some of you guys maybe. Um Let's see, if I came home from work or school or whatever it was, I may drink uh, six, six cans, you know, before I go to sleep. Six cans of soda, like within four hours, and then you go to bed with all that sugar and caffeine in you. That's a lot. 
that's a that's a lot of uh of nasty stuff to be put in your body but um you know it, it is what it is but for me the the worst thing about it wasn't the caffeine it's the sugar so i just decided to stop drinking soda i drink iced tea if i you know feel like something other than water i drink a lot of water um but if you know i feel like drinking something other than water it's it's usually uh iced tea and i put nothing in it right if you brew like if you brew your own iced tea uh what was i thinking here um whoa whoa getting carried away if you brew your own iced tea and it's good you don't need to add anything like sugar or anything in there same thing with my coffee right i i make i have one of those keurig is that how you pronounce it keurig machines here where they use the little pods so it's like when i come into the kitchen you know i kind of don't leave myself a whole lot of time in the morning i just you know want to get get dressed get get going and get to work so i come into the kitchen i put the pot in start up the the pot and then i put on my work boots and by the time i'm done ready to go out the door the coffee's done i'm, I'm out the door which that works out pretty good so but the coffee is good, right? It's not. It's not like um, like at work the coffee's bad. It tastes like it was made with dishwater or something. If you guys are coffee drinkers at all, <clears throat> excuse me, you'll know what I mean. You can have oh delicious water. You can have really good quality coffee, and you don't have to add anything to it, right? But if you have bad coffee, like at work, ugh dishwater coffee then people are dumping creamer and sugar and all this stuff into it so don't add anything to my coffee i don't add anything to my iced tea but i do make um like black tea i have brew black tea and i brew green tea and it's like one's really dark one's really light and it's actually you know different one's refreshing and one's not i heard a story today which is pretty interesting to me you know i'm i'm contemplating not using cobble up here at all now that i'm doing this unless i make some stairs i didn't bring up coal that's the only thing i didn't bring up here was coal all right we need to get we need to get up here we need to get up to the top and start thinking about a roof we're gonna do for a roof hmm should we do a stone roof we got all this wood we do a stone roof yeah maybe we'll do a stone roof let's um make a bunch of stairs make a bunch of stairs anyway that was some of my little i wanted to just kind of tell those stories about some of my eating habits you know sometimes people there are people that i don't think i'm gonna need that up here some people struggle with um with food and things like that and you know, wonder what other people do and no one ever talks about it or maybe they don't have they don't have someone that they can talk to about it um but you know you gotta you gotta take care of yourself but you also have to this isn't this isn't gonna be good doing that i gotta do that from down below